everyone. My name is Cora and I work in Keyence's machine vision department. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a label inspection on Keyence's BS smart camera. As soon as we get a good image with focus and brightness using our zoom track settings here, we can get started. The first thing I'm going to do is set up a position adjustment under the positioning tool. This way we can track our label in real time. I'm going to add the shape tracks 3A tool, draw a blue box around where my pattern could be, and a green box around my label. Since we are looking over the whole conveyor, we are going to need to enable large area search mode, which can be found here in the feature extraction setting. Under detection, I'm going to change our angle range to positive 180 and negative 180 because our part can come down, our label can come down in any orientation. We're going to change our minimum match percentage down to 50 and change the scale just in case we have a box that's taller or shorter come down that needs to still be able to read the label. Finally, I'm going to turn our fine search accuracy to fast, just because we are looking to locate the label and not run any true inspections on it with this tool. Now, under our inspection tools, whatever inspection tool I put on here now is going to track using the position tool. Today, what I'm looking to do is read the 1D code, the 2D code, and match it to our lock code here using an OCR tool. The first tool I'm going to add is going to be under our ID and OCR section, and it's going to be the 1D code reader. We'll put our box around where we know the code will be. Then under detection, we'll set the code type. Now we can see that this code is reading, the TBA string. The next one I'm going to add is going to be the 2D code reader. Same thing here, I'll draw a box around where I know the code will be on the label. And since I know this is a data matrix, under the detection settings, I'll set the code type to data matrix. We can see here that this is also reading that TBA string. The next tool I'm going to put on is going to be an OCR tool to read the text. I'm going to add our AI OCR tool. Just like the other tools, we'll draw a box around where we know the text will be. And then on this tool, just as the pop-up says, we're going to draw a green box around our character size. This doesn't need to be perfect because we can read to one half up to two times what this box is, but we'll set this here. Just to show how versatile this OCR tool is, I'm going to put it under these larger texts here. And you can see that it is still accurately reading. Even if we were to go to different texts with a completely different contrast, the tool is still reading correctly. I'm going to keep it up here on our lock code. So now I have set up both code reading tools and the OCR tool, but I need to make sure that they pass or fail based on whether it is matching the correct data with each other. How I'm going to do that is first, I'm going to set a judgment limit on this AI OCR tool and make sure it always reads this reflected string. Now that I set a judgment condition, you can see that green circle pop up here. Since this is what I'm going to be using to base the pass or fail off of my 1D and 2D code, I'm going to use my vision dashboard here. Make a section called lock code. And then I'm going to drag this judgment true pass. And then also going to drag my detected string. So this is going to be what we base our pass or fail off of here. The next thing I'm going to do is go into my 1D code reader. And under the judgment conditions, instead of just copying from the read data, I'm going to hit this link button, which allows me to link our pass or fail judgment to the output of the OCR. Now we can see that it's also passing with a green circle. I'm going to take this judgment true pass and put it on our dashboard also, along with the read data, and name this one decode. And do the same for the two decode. Go in here, go to judgment, hit our link button. 
tag it to the output from the EOCR tool. And then take both the judgment and the read data and keep it here. This way, using our vision dashboard, either the programmer or the operator has a visualization of what's passing and what's failing based on our lock code detected strength. What we are going to do to test this is we are going to try having boxes come down in different orientations. Even if the box comes down completely upside down, we are still tracking and reading all of our codes and our OCR string correctly. The next test is taking a different box that has a different height and also putting it under the camera to make sure that we can still read everything correctly, which we can. And that is a quick example of how to set up a label inspection on Keyence's BS Smart Camera.